this morning, did you apologize to the people that you spoke to about the outcome of this case? I didn't apologize to them about the out, out, outcome, but I, but I did share with them that, um, that, that I felt it was very unfortunate, and I felt that we in law enforcement have to do a better job collectively, collectively, to ensure that when people, when people are protesting peacefully, and that is exactly what happened here, that they are safe, they are safe. Now, the decisions that were made are not ours alone. There are others, and they're obvious, right? But it is incumbent on us in law enforcement, myself included, to make sure that peaceful protesters are safe. And to me, what that means is having a law enforcement presence, which is significant enough and substantial enough to ensure that. You know, hindsight, as the Colonel pointed out, is 2020, right? So I'm not putting shade on anybody here. Um, but I think we have all learned lessons from this, from this matter. And going forward, I hope to have better results. I hope we don't get to that situation, Steve, that you alluded to in the beginning. I hope I never have to come back here in a case like this. And I shared that with the protesters as well. You know, I think all of us wish, all of us wish, that this incident had never occurred. Um, it's extraordinarily unfortunate. Um, you know, we applied the legal process. We are where we are, and, um, and we move forward. But I want to reiterate that I understand, I understand, um, I understand the pain and the strong feelings that the protesters have. I understand it. That's why I met with them. I wanted to hear it. I knew I'd hear it. I wanted to hear it. I own it. I should hear it. 